Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it will ensure you won't miss any future videos. So, in my last video, I showed how to skin a fish and preserve the skin. In this video, I will show how to mount the fish and get it all ready to paint. I plan on showing you how easy it is for the beginner to mount their own fish, but to get really good at it, like I mentioned in my last video, is a little more difficult and requires good reference material, attention to detail, and lots of practice. The whole process can be accomplished with relatively few tools and materials. I'm going to need some paper mache. I'm using a purchased foam body for this fish, a staple gun, some pins, piece of wire, all common materials, and something to card the fins with. I use a soft plastic and some hardware cloth. The first thing we do is test fit the body. If it's too big, foam can easily be removed with a wood rasp and sandpaper. If it's a little too small, the void can be filled with paper mache. I've already test fit this one and it fits pretty good. The seam on the back of the fish doesn't necessarily have to come completely together. In fact, I prefer about a one inch gap, which gives it a nice full belly. Just make sure the fins are lined up properly, close to the center line of the fish, so your anatomy is pretty close. I also use a knife and cut a slit, so the throat has a place to fit, which gives the interior of the mouth a better look when finished. Now I turn my attention back to the skin. I'm going to sprinkle a small amount of borax on each of the fin butts. And I also like to get a little bit in the cheeks. The next step is adding a little paper mache to all the fin butts and in the head to make a smooth transition into the foam body. Now we're ready to insert the body and position it in place. Sometimes I use a pen to help stretch the skin and temporarily hold it in place. That looks pretty good. Now we staple the skin along the back side into the foam body. Now I'm going to attach a hanger on the back side so when this is done I can just hang it up to dry. Then we turn it over and focus our attention to the show side. So 
Make sure everything's lined up. Smooth out your paper mache and all the thin butts. And I have a piece of wire I like to insert through the back nostril and into the foam body to position the head. Now I add a little paper mache inside the cheek to replace the meat that was removed there. And try not to overfill the cheeks. That is one thing I notice in a lot of mounts, a lot of taxidermists, way overfill the cheeks. Just again check reference material so you know what it looks like. You know what results you're trying to achieve. And usually use my finger on the back side as I'm smoothing it out. The cheeks are not puffy at all. They're almost flat, just a little bit of curve to them. Now we tuck the throat into that slot that we put on the form. And then we put a couple pins to hold it in place. And that's all for the inside of the mouth for now. Now it's time to card the fins. Spread the fins out. Put my hardware cloth on top and just start paper clipping around the edges. I insert a pin in the back side to hold it in place. Now we just work around the fish and do all the fins in the same way. One thing I like about using the hardware cloth, you can bend them, put a little action to your fins, and it holds. And another pin. To hold it in place and position it where you want it. Try to keep things as secure so it doesn't move on you while it's drying. This fin the same way, you want it tucked up right tight to the body. Pin on the back side to hold it in place. And a little curve perhaps. And spread it out as far as you can. Now 
Now the pelvic fins, again tuck it in close to the body and stretch it out as far as you can. Sandwich that with the paper clips and pin on the back side to hold it in proper position. Now the last fin done the same way. We're going to bend this wire up just a little bit. Lift that head up. And we're, we're getting there. Now we're going to turn our attention on the gills. I'm going to put one pin from the tongue into the body to hold the mouth open. Now we're going to open up the gill, put a couple paper clips in to hold it in place. And I got some little plastic spacers that I'm going to insert in between each gill filament to kind of spread them apart. Just like that. Hopefully you can see that. Do the same on the back side. Now I'm going to put a, just a little material underneath the tongue to prop it up just a little bit. Okay, we're done with this step now. The fish is pretty much ready to hang until it's completely dry. That can take anywhere from several days to a couple weeks, depending on your room temperature, humidity, and size of your fish. Okay, the fish is now dry. It's been hanging for a week or so. It's now time to remove all the carding, wire, and pins. Now we need to back the fins. I found this 3M surgical tape works pretty good for that and a polytranspar fin backing cream. We then set a couple glass eyes. We do all our epoxy work, filling in all the shrunking areas and any repair work that needs to be done and cover the seam in the back. Just about every one of these finishing steps could be a separate video all its own, which I may consider doing in the future. But I've put a number of taxidermy videos out there now. A lot of what I hope is useful information, all for free. All I've asked in return is that if you like what you see, you hit that subscribe button, which costs you nothing in an attempt to grow my channel. Unfortunately, getting a little discouraged when only a very small number of people watching actually do subscribe, so the future of this channel is a little uncertain right now. Thank you.